my very great honour to introduce your judge for this afternoon's toy group, Mrs Liz Stannard, introduced into the ring by our chairman, Una Gore. Approved to award CCs in every toy breed, Liz is world famous for her Pekingese and her Griffons, having made up 16 champions in this breed. She is also the original importer of the Bolognese into the UK. And it's quite hard to believe that Liz won her first CC in 1970. She's delighted to be back here at Windsor, judging this afternoon's finale. A very warm Windsor welcome for Mrs Liz Stannard. The first of the dogs in the group is the Australian Silky Terrier. Followed by the Bichon Frise. Followed by the Bolognese. And the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. And the first of the Chihuahuas, the Long Coat Chihuahua. And the Smooth Coat Chihuahua. The Chinese Crested Dog. The Griffon Bruxellois. The Havanese. And the Italian Greyhound. The Japanese Chin. The King Charles Spaniel. And the Lurchin. The Maltese. The Miniature Pincher. The Papillon. The Pekingese. The Pomeranian. And the pup. So as these dogs take their time to come into place, because we've got the Pekingese there, making a grand effort, followed by the Pom and the Pug. This is Liz's chance to have a look at the group in its entirety. So this is my chance to tell you a little bit more about this exciting toy group that we have this afternoon. There are two things that every one of these breeds that we see in front of us tonight have in common. First, and fairly obviously, their similar stature in size. But secondly, and not quite so obvious, is their huge stature in personality. And do not be fooled by their size. These toy breeds have very, very big hearts indeed. So just as we saw in the Hound group, there's a really interesting continental mix in the toy group too. We see breeds before us, not only from the United Kingdom and across the whole of Europe, but also those from the Americas, Asia and the Far East, and even Australia too. So before Liz starts her individual examination, can I call for all toy puppy winners to the collecting ring, ring 27 for pre-judging, please. Ring 27 for the Toy Puppy Group pre-judging. So, Australian Silky Terriers today were judged by Brian Ricks. From an entry of eight, it was this dog, number 1240, chosen to represent the breed in the group tonight. Originating in Australia and once known as the Sydney Silky, its ancestors are actually the Yorkshire Terrier and the Australian Terrier, which itself is derived from the British rough-coated terrier breeds. These are keenly alert and active personalities. There are even references to the huge spirit of this little breed tackling snakes in its native Australia. After World War II, 
With returning servicemen taking this breed home, the Australian Silky Terrier has grown in popularity all across the world. That's 1240, the Australian Silky Terrier. On the table now, we see the Bichon Frise, judged by Karen Alcock. From an entry of 74, it was the Bitch 1252, sent through to tonight's group. Bichon, in Middle French, refers to a small, long-haired dog. Frise translates to curly-haired. It's thought that the origin of the Bichon is the Canary Island of Tenerife in the Mediterranean. It's also thought that sailors as far back as the 14th century took these dogs home to France from Tenerife and hence their popularity grew. Bichon Frise enjoy water and retrieving, but today are best known for their amiable personality and importance in so many family households across the world. That's the best of breed winning Bichon Frise, 1252. On the table now is a Bolognese, also judged today by Caroline Alcock from an entry of 12. It was the Bitch 1319 chosen as best of breed. Bologna in Italy around the 11th or 12th century is supposedly the origin of this ancient breed. The Medici family are known to have bred and owned Bolognese and other famous historical figures involved with the breed are Madame de Pompadour, Catherine the Great and Maria Teresa, Empress of Austria. It's reported that the decline of the aristocracy in Europe was a major reason for the breed falling out of favour. However, of late, due to the dedication of Italian and Belgian breeders, the Bolognese is re-establishing itself once again. The best of breed winning Bolognese, number 1319. The largest entry in the toy group today was the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, judged by Marion Wiggins from an entry of 170. It was the Bitch 1466 to emerge as best of breed winner. Despite being the most popular numerically in this group today, the Cavalier did not actually secure kennel club status until 1944. The Cavalier now ranked numerically in the top 10 of all breeds. Although going back several centuries, its origins are somewhat hazy, of course closely linked to the King Charles Spaniel and the court of Charles II. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is larger in size than its cousin and has a longer muzzle. Cavaliers come in four colour varieties, black and tan, lenum, ruby and tricolour, as we see here. The best of breed winning Cavalier won four double six. The first of the Chihuahua varieties is a long coat. Susan Lee was the judge today, and from an entry of 125, it was the dog, 1499, chosen as the best of breed winner. Although the breed's origin is debatable and probably South American, taking his name from the Mexican state of Chihuahua, he may well have originated in China. This is the smallest breed of dog in the world, and he first came to prominence in 1895.
described as cheeky with a saucy expression, there's no doubt that he thinks he really is a big dog. And at heart, he truly is. Intelligent, very gay, and fond of retrieving. The best of breed winning long coat chihuahua, 1499. On to the smooth coat variety. Judged today by Teresa Barker from an entry of 52, it was the bitch one, a double six four, chosen as the best of breed winner. Just as much a big hearted dog as his long haired cousin, the smooth coat chihuahua stole the hearts of America when the breed moved across borders and state lines into Arizona and New Mexico. Chais, as they are now become known, are increasingly popular the world over, especially so since the beginning of the 20th century. The smooth coat's name is Apt, for its coat must be smooth with a soft texture, close and glossy, with undercoat and rough permissible. The best of breed winning smooth coat chihuahua number one double six four. <laughs> Bruce Jackson was the judge of the Chinese crested. From an entry of eighty three, it was the bitch one seven double two that he chose as his best of breed winner today. First recognised by the Kennel Club in 1981, these unique little dogs come in two varieties, the powder puff and the hairless that we see on the table today. Whilst difficult to pinpoint their origin, it's said that they were owned by families of the ancient Han Dynasty of China, where they were guardians of treasure houses. Famous owners of this delightful breed include the illustrious Gypsy Rose Lee. The best of breed winning Chinese crested number one, seven, double two. On the table now, we see the Griffon Bruxellois, judged by Phil Woodward. In fact, the dogs were judged by Phil Woodward, and it was Peter Jolly who finished the judging and selected the best of breed today. The best of breed winner was number 1851, the bitch that we see on the table. Named after its city of origin, Brussels in Belgium, this charming breed can be traced way back but it's in the 19th century that they began, they began to gain popularity, particularly with coachmen who used the dogs in the stables to deal with the vermin. It was Queen Marie Henriette, who was a Griffon supporter at the dog shows in Belgium, who brought the breed much fame and popularity. The Griffon Bruxellois, number one, eight, Five, one. Pauline Sidgwick was the judge of the Havanese today, and there was an entry of 35, and it was this dog, number 1866, selected as the winner. So, from Belgium and Europe, we move continents across the Atlantic Ocean to the island of Cuba. And we see the Havanese, indeed the national dog of Cuba. 
The breed, as we see it today, was developed from the now extinct Blanquito de la Habana, which translates as a little white dog of Havana. The breed club was formed in 1994. It's believed that the breeding of the Blanquito with other Bichon type dogs and also the poodle that produced the Havanese as we know it today. 1866. <laughs> On the table now is the Italian Greyhound, judged today by Dagmar Kennis Forden. There were 57, and it was the dog that Dagmar chose as best of breed number 1941. This is a graceful, racy little dog, and it claims a heritage dating way back to the days of Pompeii and even Egypt. Some say this ancient breed was perhaps the first dog to be developed as a pet and lap dog and was popularised by artists such as Carpaccio and Van Dyke. <laughs> Mary Queen of Scots, Charles I, Queen Anne and Queen Victoria to name but a few have been big royal supporters of this graceful breed. The best of breed Italian greyhound one nine four one. On the table now we see the Japanese chin. It was Andreas Schemmel who judged the Japanese chins today, and from an entry of ninety, it was the dog. One nine four seven to emerge triumphant. The Japanese chin is an oriental aristocrat in both bearing and demeanour. History tells us that despite his name, he originated in neighbouring China and made his way to Japan as a gift from one empress to another. The word chin means cat-like, and indeed these little dogs do use their paws in the manner of a cat to wash their faces. From 1895, Japanese chins were sufficiently numerous for a club to be formed. And the Japanese chin breeders and the Pekingese fanciers joined together to form the Japanese and Pekingese Club. The best of breed winning Japanese chin, 1947. Jacqueline Portingale was a judge of King Charles Spaniels and there was an entry of 62 and it was the dog, 2074, chosen as best of breed. Like his cousin the Cavalier that we saw earlier, the King Charles is closely linked to the royal courts as far back as Mary Tudor. In fact, Queen Victoria and our present Queen Elizabeth are known to have owned King Charles Spaniels and King Charles II himself was seen to exercise and feed his spaniels in St James's Park. Note the lovely domed head and shorter nose, which are just a couple of the points which differentiate this lovely breed from its cavalier cousin. Another small dog with a huge heart. Best of breed winning King Charles Spaniel 2074. The next dog on the table for Liz to consider is the Lurchin. And it was Shona Grieve who judged the Lurchin today. There were 27 and she chose the bitch 2117. Lurchins, also known as the little lion dog, due to the manner in which they are trimmed, is probably a European bred. 
although the origins are somewhat hazy. His homeland is actually listed as France, although he's been established in Spain and Germany from the early 16th century. The breed was first registered here in the UK in 1971. Once known as the rarest breed in the world, the Lurchin has grown in popularity not least because of his charming attitude and personality. The best of breed winning Lurchin, 2117. George Farmer was the judge of the Maltese today, and from an entry of 26, it was the dog, number 2146, that George chose to send through to the group this afternoon. As the name suggests, it's generally understood that the breed's origins lay in the island of Malta. However, the Maltese name has been said to have derived from the Adriatic island of Miget, and even a Sicilian town called Melita. In fact, its Latin name is indeed the Canis Militaeus. It's said that the Roman Emperor Claudius and our own Mary Queen of Scots as well as Queen Victoria owned this lovely breed. Sir Edwin Landseer painted Queen Victoria's then known as the Maltese Terrier in 1850. The best of breed winning Maltese, 2146. Mr. David Gentle was the judge of miniature pinches today. And from an entry of 42, it was the dog chosen as best of breed, number 2177. Min Pins, as they're affectionately known, first arrived in the UK from Germany, their homeland, in 1938. The miniature Pincher was an adept ratter and mouser, and it's believed that the name Pincher was taken from either Pincer or Pincher in English, referring to the dog's tendency to kill vermin quickly by grabbing and holding fast. He is indeed a lively and high-spirited little chap, curious and always busy, highly intelligent and a super companion. The Min Pin, number 2177. Papillons today were judged by Nigel Marsh. From an entry of 101, it was adult. 2227, that's double 227, chosen as best of breed. The breed has two countries listed as its home, namely France and Belgium, in both of which it's known as the Continental Toy Spaniel, Papillon, or in a drop eared version, the Faline. The erect-eared version of the breed takes its name from the French word for butterfly, whilst the drop-eared version is named after the moth. And here we see the papillon. Louis XIV's corpse or papillons pampered and revered. Madame de Pompadour and Mar Marie Antoinette were also fanciers of the breed. <laughs> uh, 
That's 2227, the best of breed winning Papillon. On the table now we see the Pekingese, judged by Andrew Box, and from an entry of 43, it was this dog, number 2321, chosen as the best of breed winner. One of the oldest breeds of dogs, and as the name suggests, the Peak originates from China and the ancient city of Peking, being described as a member of the Chinese society as far back as the 7th century. Hugely popular at the Chinese Imperial Court, all Peaks of today descend from the five dogs found at the Imperial Court, but it was not until the 1860s that Peaks were really seen outside the royal palaces of China. It was at the Chester Show of 1894 that the general public first welcome of the breed where a dog called Peking Peter, a handsome grey brindle, won first prize in a variety class and made a huge sensation. In 1898, it was the LKA for the first time to put on a Pekingese classification and six years later, the Pekingese Club came into being. Two, three, two, one, the best of breed winning Pekingese. Kevin Berry was the judge of Pomeranians, and from an entry of 31, it was the bitch 2340 chosen as the winner. Though Britain is listed as the country of development of the Pomeranian, he's a Spitz type dog descended from a larger Arctic sled dog, and finding himself in the show ring by way of Germany and northern Poland, the area of Pomerania. Pom was bred from the German Spitz before becoming known in Britain in the 1870s. Initially not terribly well received here, it was our Queen Victoria after her visit to Florence in 1888 who became interested in the breed and adopted one as her constant companion. Then public awareness and popularity increased immensely. The smallest of the Spitz-type dogs, in stature a giant by heart, lively, vivacious and certainly full of affection. The best of breed winning Pomeranian 2340. A strong entry of pugs today, 141 for our judge Michael Quinney. He selected the dog 2479 as the best of breed winner. And despite speculation as to the country of origin for the pug, it was seen that they came from the Orient. Indeed, China is listed as the breed's home country. Pugs found their way to Europe with traders of the Dutch East India Company as far back as the 1500s. And in the Netherlands, the breed became the symbol for the Royal Dutch Patriots as against the Kazan for the Patriot commoners. Edward and Mrs. Simpson, Marie Antoinette to name but a few, were admirers of this charming breed with a huge personality. It was William III who introduced the pug to the UK. Very popular they've become since. The best of breed winning pug, 2479, and that completes the individual examination of today's second group at Windsor 2014. So our judge and toy expert, Miss Stannard, is going to have one last look at her toy group in its entirety before making a short list.
19 toy breeds here. So the first of the shortlisted dogs is the long coat chihuahua, the Chinese crested, the Havanese, the Italian greyhound, the Japanese chin, the papillon, the peak and the pup. Thank you very much to those others. Best of breed winners, huge congratulations on winning today. So, the shortlisted dogs make their way round to the top end. Our judge, Miss Stannard, watches them go round, and I'm sure she's going to ask them to move individually again. So the first of the shortlisted finalists is the Long Coat Chihuahua. Sent through to the group by Susan Lee. This is the dog number 1499. Bruce Jackson selection of the Chinese Crested. This is a bitch, number 1722. And the Havanese, judged today by Pauline Sidgwick. This is a dog, number 1866. And the Italian Greyhound, judged by Dagmar Tennis Warden. This is a dog number 1941. Andrea Schemmel selection, the Japanese Chin, 1947. This is a dog. Another male here, the Papillon, sent through by Nigel Marsh, triple two seven. <laughs> Chosen by Andrew Box, it's the Pekingese dog, number two three two one. Michael Quinney's selection in the parks, this dog number 2479. So that completes the last movement of the eight shortlisted dogs. We'll have the boards in place while Liz makes a final look. Very soon we'll know who the second of the seven finalists at Windsor 2014 will be. So, the boards are virtually in place and the winner of the toy group at Windsor 2014 is the Japanese Chin. One, nine, four, seven. In second spot in the toy group, it's the Long Coat Chihuahua. One four double nine.
And third place in the toy group goes to the pub, number 2479. And in fourth spot, it's the Pekingese, number 2321. Well done to the Papillon, the Italian Greyhound, the Havanese and the Chinese crested, but huge congratulations to our second group winner, the Japanese Chin. Well done, congratulations, and we'll see the Japanese Chin back here on Sunday evening for our finale. Well done to the Longcoat Chihuahua, the Pug, and the Pekingese. Thank you.